All right, so before we get started with any of the points, I want you to go ahead and open your notes app or Microsoft Word, Google Docs, it doesn't matter. Just start a new section and then come back once you've done that. And congrats, you've started your novel. You've done more than most people would actually do. You've taken the first step and now we can build from there. So for point number one, I want to advise you to not write down anything yet. I'm going to ask you to keep consuming media that inspires you. I want you to watch the shows and movies that make you feel the most alive, make you feel connected to yourself that you can resonate with. For me, that's like arcane. Um, the original Star Wars trilogy, the 80s Transformers cartoons, Mistborn, Stormlight Archive, the Iliad, and other Greek myths. All of those really get my creative gears going. If you can identify at least three or five, uh, whether it be books, films, shows, poems even, uh, I recommend keeping a good system of those going as you do this novel project. So why do I say that? I think that most of our good ideas aren't exactly original, but they aren't plagiarizing. So in order to come up with something new, you're usually going to combine multiple different things, draw upon what you feel most connected with, that way your story is most unique to you. The more we see ourselves in other stuff, the more capable of creating our own stories feels. Um, and without that, it can be a lot harder to actually get started. So anyways, for point two, I wanted to talk about what I use to organize my stuff. This is just basic setup. But I use Google Docs personally for my novels. I have two projects currently, and I use 12 point Times New Roman font for anyone wondering. I also use single spaced and the margins on the sides are the default. Um, again, notes or word works, whichever you chose should be fine. Um, you could probably switch it over later don't stress about it too much as long as you're writing something down from the shows movies films books that you've consumed you can take bits that in, that you enjoy and you can turn them into your own what do i mean by that so in mistborn brandon sanderson created a heist novel set in an epic fantasy world he took something that he really enjoyed, which was like the gang getting together, each with a unique skill, and then infiltrating this, you know, this castle um, and starting a revolution. Well, he created something unique there while taking two things that already existed. And you can do that with whatever you want. Um, for example, let's look at Dune. So, the Atreides house is holding a, a formal dinner, and there's a lot of political entry during this. You can take that, and the political intrigue, tense dinner setting, and put that in any other situation. Because it's a really good scene setup. Is you can use scenes from other projects and then make them into your own and you can make your own twist on it too you know there could be a big reveal at the end of the scene you could there could be a a murder you know whatever will help your plot move forward just have stuff that you can draw upon another point that will help you get moving is to write down any good idea you have no matter where you're at if you're asleep if you're 
hanging out with friends, whatever. Well, I guess if you're asleep, you can't write it down. But if you're in bed, get out of bed and write it down. Because otherwise you're going to forget it and you're going to regret it. And good ideas are not easy to come by. You want to take advantage of any good idea you have and go ahead and use it. Some of my best ideas have come when I'm not trying to think about the book. When I'm doing something completely separate. As much as we want to force our brain to make the story happen then and there, it doesn't work like that. And we're going to be scattered most of the time. And in order to actually organize those random thoughts we have, we're going to need to write those down whenever you can. Now you may want to jump straight into the book, but I want to tell you to stop because that's what I did and it hurt my writing. So instead of writing down every single chapter or starting on page one, I want you to come up with a set of characters or world concepts before you get into it because think about it you wouldn't want to start a game without knowing the rules right you want to learn what to do beforehand otherwise you're not going to know how to play the game same with your reading people aren't going to read the book if they don't know what's going on and if you don't know what you're setting up you're going to trap yourself eventually you're gonna get into plot holes which are a pain to fix. So instead of writing like crazy, calm down and resonate with some ideas. Again, you can draw upon other stuff. Come up with a few characters. They don't have to be super complex yet. They'll develop over time, trust me. Just get a few points basic plot ideas have like an ending in mind maybe rough arcs for the characters a few traits and you'll be way better off if you do it like that instead of going straight in now i must mention that this is just my advice and there are a lot of other authors that do it completely different another thing to consider before getting too far into this is why are you writing this? What's the purpose of your novel? Most stories are there to teach a lesson or to translate one's own experience for others to enjoy or to, to learn from or to relate with. So what's unique about yours? Again, what things are you gonna combine to create a unique idea. Another thing, please take time off to think about it occasionally. The more you overwrite, which it may sound strange, if you're struggling to write as it is, there is such a thing as overwriting. I've been on both sides of the writing spectrum and overwriting can lead you to burnout just as quickly as overthinking so please take time off treat yourself well especially after you've put in a lot of work uh, the book isn't going to be done in a week and you got to realize that it's probably going to take a couple of years and that's something i learned the hard way i believe my last book which mind you still isn't done took three or so years two and a half years and it's still a shorter book, around 250 pages. No one's rushing you. Great work really does take time. Uh, Rome wasn't built in a day. So please work at your own pace. Nobody's trying to get you to publish it right now at this moment. The longer you think out the ideas, the better the work will end up being. You're writing this for the first time. This will be your rough draft do not revise every sentence that you put down you're going to want to so badly but just leave it revision has to wait until you're done with the novel in its early form 
your vision will get in the way and it will hinder your writing and you'll feel like a failure. I, with my complete book, The Reaper and the Lily, as well as the other one, Well Underway, I had to resist revising every single sentence because a lot of my prose, they're really ugly. But um, the first one is more of a blocky draft, like a skeleton. You're going to, that's what I like to call this first ugly draft is the skeleton. And with your skeleton draft, you can, it'll be your basis for everything else. So once you've lined out the story, albeit pretty ugly, you're going to take apart the pieces later on through revision and you can rearrange them into a way that better suits your final product. However, the second, third, fourth, however many drafts, that's what they're for is to correct your earlier work. But without the earlier work in the first place, you're not going to have a story at all. You know, best to complete it before you take a look back at it. It took me a while to get going on my first novel because I did make this mistake and I wanted each line to be perfect. But once I finally just write, I just needed to write and uh, it worked. I finished the book after a lot of hard work, but I recommend do not revise until you're actually done with it. The more you read and consume stuff that inspires you, though, the more creative energy you can harness and convert to your writing. And that'll helpfully help with this, I think, get you out of a rut. It helps me, especially when it's something that feels new, whether, again, whatever media that is. Um, most recently, that was La La Land. I really liked that movie. It was something I wasn't expecting at all. It took me by a complete surprise, and uh, it was a nice work. Again, writing isn't going to be easy unless you're Brandon Sanderson. That guy is not human, and his novels are released on a crazy schedule. But anyways, the point of writing is to convey the stories you want to tell, the more you focus on trying to get published, I feel like the more discouraged you're going to be because publishing is hard. I haven't even gotten to that stage. And I'm kind of nervous too because I feel like it's going to be terrible. A lot of people choose to self-publish because the publishing game is so hard right now. I've seen a lot of other authors talk about this and... Going back to Brandon Sanderson, if you couldn't tell, he's one of my favorite authors. He wrote, I want to say, 13 books before he actually published one. And that was, that's kind of insane to hear, especially having only two, not even two, under my belt. Listen to your ambitions and let them run wild. That's all I had for now. If you would like, to hear me talk on more coming up with ideas or creating things like magic systems for a fantasy, writing suspense, or anything else, let me know. Thanks for watching me, and the best you can do is just start.